Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yua and in today's video, I'm gonna take you along with me as I shop at Hobby Lobby. And of course, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I decorate my Christmas tree this year for 2019. I love Hobby Lobby. I think that they have such great Christmas decor, especially ornaments and different themes to choose from. So I love shopping Hobby Lobby and as you can tell, all of their items are always typically at 50% off, so they're always on sale. So I would definitely recommend you to check them out if you're looking to change out your Christmas tree or your holiday theme. I always update mine every year and Hobby Lobby is one of my favorite stores to shop at. The first thing I do obviously when I get home is Putting away all of those autumn and fall and Halloween decor. I'm a little bit early, I know, but I just love being so festive and I want my Christmas tree to be up as long as possible. So one of the first things I do is take down my bins and pretty much put away all of my fall decor. So living in a smaller condo, I always have to make room for a Christmas tree. So I just basically move my two accent chairs over and put it into my dining table. Instead of a four, I make it into six seating. And this is the location I'm going to be putting my Christmas tree. So my Christmas tree is a seven and a half fully flocked pre-lit tree from Michaels. I believe they do have the same exact Christmas tree on sale. I'll link it below if I can still find it. If not, you can go to my previous last year video. So although I love having pre-lit trees because they really help save you time, I love to add extra lights. So one of the first things I like to do after basically taking out the Christmas tree is adding additional lights. And that's one thing that I feel like really lights up the tree. So basically these are the, all the items I picked up from Hobby Lobby at this time. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a couple of trips. But the first thing I did get was this like ribbon type. It's very, very outdoorsy if you can't already tell. This year's theme, I'm going to make it very like outdoorsy, kind of cozy, kind of outside where I'm going to add some greenery. I did pick up two owls to be my topper. They're super cute. And I did also pick up this like vine that I did actually pick up from Michael's. It wasn't Hobby Lobby. And then to add some greenery and love these pine cones into my Christmas tree, I did get these picks from Hobby Lobby. And of course, my tree is so white, so I thought greenery would be great. Here are some other picks with pine cones. Just make it very whimsical but outdoorsy as well. And of course, I did pick up these picks also from Hobby Lobby. I'll try my best to link everything if I can find it online. But the majority of my ornaments, these are all from Hobby Lobby. But the other ones that you'll see that are white, clear, they're from last year. So I'll go ahead and link the video in the cards and down the description box. Or you can go to like my Christmas home tour that I believe I do have from last year's video. So if you want to see what ornaments I got from Hobby Lobby last year, you can see that video. But I love all the ornaments I got this year. I love these pine combs. They're super, super cute. And so, of course, I'm going more for that nature, outdoor Kind of if you went to the cabins, like that kind of feel. So that's my theme this year. I feel like it's easiest to start from the top and then go down, especially because I don't want to knock down ornaments while I'm putting on the topper. So I did get this like set of three. It looks like a bell, but it's made with that very woody um, a material kind of like that vine and so I did use these and the two owls are super adorable as kind of like my topper this year I wanted them to be like the main focus so I'm gonna put them at the very top of my tree Another addition to my topper, I used a little bit of that line that I did get from Michaels and I just placed the two owls in it as if it was their nest that they were sitting in and I absolutely love how it turned out. I think it's super, super cute and I was actually glad that I was able to use the vine for the little nest. So 
So with the rest of the vine, I was able to get it apart and separate it. This was actually kind of hard because vine is very rigid. It doesn't want to move. And so I did take some time to take it off, but I was able to kind of loosen it a little bit and get it out of shape, move it around. And I did actually use this to basically put it around and make some loops around the tree. Instead of using like the typical ribbon, I used this vine. And I actually liked the way it turned out. I think it was really cute. And then of course, one of my most favorite times to decorate is adding on all the ornaments. I like to start off with the bigger ornaments first just because they fill up so much more space. And of course, thank you to my little helper, my husband. He had placed the hooks on and got them all ready for me to basically decorate the Christmas tree. And then of course I always I'll forget something so I completely forgot about the pics but I really wanted to place in the pics first but this was the moment that I decided to put it in. And I just placed the green pics first and I kind of just spread them apart because there were very few of them. So to add emphasis to my topper and I wanted something a little bit more grand to bring focus to those two owls, I brought in some old pics that I bought last year from Hobby Lobby or Michaels and basically I put some white and some pinky rose gold ones right behind the two owls. So for my tree skirt, I kept it really simple. I have this very simple white one that pretty much I've had for a couple years now. I think I got it from Walmart. And then I feel like it looks pretty sad because it looks really flat. So I pretty much got these two curtains. They're just plain white and I just placed them over to kind of create more of like that snow effect. So it just didn't look as flat. So that's pretty much my Christmas tree this year. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And let me know what is your Christmas tree theme this year. I would love to know. So other than that, have a wonderful day guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.